Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, I will going to explain one of the fundamental equation used in the strength of material. That, that is the relationship between the deformation of the material and the load on the material, the length of the member, the elasticity of the material and the cross-sectional area of the material. So I will explain this fundamental equation of the deformation with the help of the example in order to explain it more easily. So let's consider this is in a rod which is being fixed, supported and one end is free and the other end is fixed and the original length of the rod is let's suppose L and the cross-sectional area of this member is A and there is let's suppose load is being applied on this rod represented by P and there is a tensile load is being applied on this rod. So due to this load there will be some deformation in this in this member and this deformation we call it suppose it small sigma. So due to tensile load on this rod there is some tensile deformation in this member and also due to tensile load there will be tensile stresses and strain created in this rod. So now let's come to the definition of stress, the tensile stress due to this load there will be some tensile stresses and we can define the tensile stresses that it will be equal to the load on this material on this member dividing by the cross-sectional area of this member which will be A. So this will be the stresses created inside this rod. Now what will be the strains? The strain created due to this load will be equal to the change in length divided by original length where sigma where small sigma is the here is the change in length. This deformation is the change in length while L is the original length of the member. So this there will be some strains created inside this material which is the steel rod here. So now if we look to the definition of the elasticity we know that elasticity of the material is equal to the stress divided by the strain. Now we know that this stress is equal to P over A here and strain is equal to the change in length divided by original length here. We just put these values in this equation. So now if I simplify so it will be P divided by A and L comes to the numerator. So I can see here that E is equal to the PL divided by A into small sigma or we can take this small sigma deformation from here so it will become PL divided by A and E will be shifted here and small sigma will be shifted here so it will be E here or we can write it here PL divided by EA. So this equation is used to find out the deformation in the member. If we know the load on the member, if we know the length of the member and the elasticity of the material, let's suppose it's a steel rod, we will know the elasticity of the steel rod, let's suppose it is 200 gigapascal and the area of the cross section, area, cross sectional area of the member here, we know these values, we just put these all values, we will find out that how much deformation has been created in this member due to this load. So this is one of the fundamental equation used in the strength of the mechanics. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.